Having destroyed USS Carolina on the previous day, British forces south of New Orleans made their first attack against Andrew Jackson's lines on the morning of December 28, 1814. In what military planners call a reconnaissance in force, British soldiers moved forward in two columns to test the strength of the fortified American line behind Rodriguez Canal at today's Chalmette, Louisiana. The main column, led by Major General John Keane, pushed up the levee road by the river. It was strengthened by a battery of six-pounder field guns that would move with the infantry to keep USS Louisiana away. On the other side of the battlefield, a second column of British troops advanced on the Deleron Plantation Road against Jackson's left flank, which extended into a swamp away from the river. If this attack was successful, the 5th West India, a regiment of black troops from Jamaica, would sweep around the end of the American line and strike Jackson's men from behind. As the main British column moved up the levee road, it quickly came under heavy cannon fire from both USS Louisiana and smaller U.S. Navy gunboats, as well as five and possibly six cannons in Jackson's fortified lines. The British six-pound field guns fought back but were quickly silenced. The British infantry sought cover in ditches, sugarcane stubble, and behind burning buildings, never getting close to the river end of Jackson's line. On the other side of the battlefield, the British unleashed fierce blasts of rocket fire on the American lines as a portion of their troops made it to the swamp. They exchanged heavy volleys of fire with Tennessee soldiers and Choctaw warriors under General John Coffey. One group of Coffey's American riflemen misinterpreted orders and advanced too far in trying to cut off some of the British near the swamp and was almost cut off itself. In the end, the British forces fell back with nearly 200 killed, wounded, and missing. The Americans lost seven killed and 10 wounded. The fighting exposed the weakness of Jackson's left flank in the swamp, leading him to order that it be strengthened and extended. The British realized that they would need more and heavier artillery on the field if they hoped to break through and make their way into New Orleans. Fighting between the two armies continued, with the main battle of New Orleans still to come on January 8, 1815. Learn more about the War of 1812 on the Gulf Coast by visiting our website at twoegtv.com. In Chalmette, Louisiana, I'm Dale Cox for Two Egg TV.